might have been the losers last time, but like, Choking kind of had some, threw some stank on it in their last match. Uh, got his first win over Moniker, so A, people are getting their first win over Moniker today, but uh, B, Moniker might be kind of shook. Or not, he's we'll see. got an interesting mentality. Okay. But around the table, it's probably the venues. Yeah, the money pit. There's money in Wait, is there a sediment today? Okay. Okay, we got it. It's on uh, okay. Ethan Moniker up in the air. This is how you get the advantage. And he goes for that forward smash. I don't think we're going to tipper, but it's still a lot the, of damage. The tipper did hit the shield. Oh, the tipper did hit the shield. It okay, did. interesting. So maybe he just wanted the shield damage. Or maybe that was just an added bonus. All right, to smash off. So we had a Lucina last time. This time we got a Marth. Uh, Marth is the sour spots aren't as strong, but the tippers are stronger. Oh, oh, that's an interesting. I don't even know what happened there. I don't know the order of execution for those moves, but now it's tied up zero zero. They were pretty tied up before. Yep. Uh, I kind of feel like Moniker was out to the lead at the beginning, though, and this is kind of an opportunity for Itzan to capitalize now that it's back even, but now Moniker's starting out slightly up again. Uh, if Technically, if they repeat the first stock, Monik uh, Itzan will win. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, that's I mean, I think he went a little too far up and landed on the platform. Uh, does not fall and get hit by that. Okay, what's the play here? Okay. I like, I like that last smash attempt. Uh, okay, that, he got kind of stuck on the platform there and got caught with the nair. And right, the juggles, oh! the juggles. So now it's just important to land. That backer could have been fatal or set him up for a lot of bad. Oh, okay. What a I great counter. I did not know the counter. counter. So, uh, one people might be wondering why that didn't kill. Uh, counters don't tipper. And neither does the upbeat. Yeah. There's that too. It was only like 29%. If you were a corn, though. Yeah. All right. Was it almost? That was just that was, was that was just a few pixels off. The tipper, though. Uh, yeah. Okay. 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 That time, I think he could have stayed on the ledge. Well, the the thing to watch out for is Moniker would just drop down and pin again. Uh, ooh, that was interesting trap that Moniker had, and he wasn't able to Good spot dodge. Uh, Throws him off. I hear... That's it. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, Moniker's kind of hyping himself up. That was pretty close. That forward smash, I've been told, could have killed. Uh... Yeah. It could have... It could have hit... It could have hit Moniker on the platform because that that happened on the sh on the shield on the first stock. Okay. Okay. Uh, doing the stage strikes. Uh, going back to triplats. Uh, Battlefield, not Dreamland. Uh, I think this might be a conscious decision by him because he doesn't want to get juggled off the top. Like by the that up air, probably going to kill them on Dreamland. That he barely lived at the beginning of this game, game one. Uh, I heard an oh my. Uh, it probably was that dancing blade. No, I said oh my to the t the tipper up here. Okay. Okay. My main point is, and I I think it's on did pick battlefield, but like in general, oh, make sure you're picking distance. between uh, battlefield and dreamland. Okay. And that's just always picking battlefield. Nice. Almost got another forward smash tipper. That would have ended. That probably would have ended moniker. So he, he's got back in a stitch, is very important, because now he can capitalize on the percent lead. Uh, there's a few options he has they can kill. Uh, realistically, probably want to give him like 100 first. Whew. Okay, uh, okay, Nair uh, doesn't tip her, I don't think. That would have killed if it did. Uh, now, do you know if you can just counter uh, the up B on a uh, corn? Yes. Yes. You yeah, probably would kill right now, right? Ooh. 
Does the tip on the pin. Uh. Okay. So this is kind of scary. His lead is starting to stop being a lead. Ooh, oh. Uh, and ooh, it, if it had hit the ground, that would have been it. But it goes over the ledge, so he only gets the first hit, and it's not a tipper. Uh. Ooh. Oh, he stands a little bit too close to the ledge. He's gonna. He, he gets hit by the upbeat. Okay. Okay. What's I, I, that was a. That was a nice attack. He can go for a. He's going for a grab now, which is a lot safer. Is, that's oh. Not it. That was not not a good not good di, but it didn't do it. That it didn't kill. No. no, that was the first up throw. So you think maybe it would have worked if he done like two or three more pummels? Yeah. Also, adding, also that was bad. That was not good DI either. The up throw. So up throw actually sends up throw sends opponents behind. Them. Okay. There's that counter I was wondering about. It didn't kill. No rip bridge. Uh, it doesn't matter because Moniker can't make it back. Uh, he, he held back a little bit because he was fearing uh, Moniker. He would come off again with another counter, yep. or like a forward air. But he was, it was just... pretty much checkmate at that point. Yeah, kinda. He could have like just hoped he messed up, or he honestly was pretty close to going high and then down on the ledge. Uh, but no, we're pretty even now. Uh, we're kind of at this spot the first game too. Yep. Uh, it kind of just went Moniker's way in the second stack. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Okay, gets the down there. Oh, jumps over that dash attack. Okay, uh, I was wondering if he's gonna go for a counter. I don't think he could have got it out of time actually. Nah, he, he, he could have countered. He could have countered the dr the dragon thing. I wonder. Like, like, like you can shield the dragon thing shot. Yeah, and that if probably would have been the match thing. Oh, that counter right there would have been great. Uh. I hope nice. he doesn't, like, lose focus now. Uh, that actually couldn't have been a counter because he went from up low. They're so uh, good at the ledge. Yeah. Jeez. That's will not it. Not kill. That's, nope. Maybe a forward tilt would have worked there. Or an up tilt. Maybe a forward air. Oh, no. uh, he's got to watch out, though, for, like, uh, some shenanigans. Like, a, like a char like paralyzed into a tipper uh, side B. It won't KO right now. But, yes, got to be wary of it. Okay, so that might have, he might have grabbed the electric gun for a counter. Uh, this is where it gets scary. Uh, under no circumstances should he jump from a ledge where a back here can kill him. That's not it. Okay. He, 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 he countered okay, there he to, to yeah, try to counter yeah. the fair, but. I'm going to get of that. I think maybe he was playing a land on the top platform or maybe in between the two. I think uh, he want, maybe he wanted to land between the Of the, most of the triplets, I don't know about uh, Midgar. But Battlefield's got the most space between the platforms. So if you're like trying to get between them, like with a bowling ball or a hydrant, you want to go to Battlefield. Uh, you can do it on Dreamland, and it's actually impossible to do on Miiverse because they overlap. Anyways, uh, game three. Uh, okay. There's another. This is another game three situation, just like last time. Yeah, and again, it's uh, not yet in top five territory. I think I heard, I heard Talon. Okay, so that's big on Moniker getting the image. Uh, I've just been noticing he likes Talon. Like, he likes to stand up on the platforms and, like, he'll use his down air to catch you if you're poking up at him. Uh, maybe Marth can do it safely because he's got such a long sword. Uh, it's not actually that long. It's like a one-and-a-half hand sword. Okay. Still play more. Oh, a little bit off-spaced. Uh, the op is just slightly off. That was a nice dash grab, though. Uh, gets paralyzed, does not... Uh, it's not I don't think really he could have capitalized on it much of that I point. don't think he could have followed up. He was yeah. a little bit too far. Yeah. Maybe if he'd been at a higher percent, he would have stayed stunned for longer. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, that, that, that was unfortunate. The, the, the fourth okay. hit of Dancing Blade didn't hit. Okay, uh, doesn't get the dash grab, goes a little bit through him. Uh, that's kind of just microspace and stuff that comes with time. Uh, and these guys are good at it too, it's just hard to do in the all the time 100% perfect. Uh, short up, air dodge in the tipper back here, that's a nice kill. Uh, that's a lot of mental damage. Uh, I thought for sure he was gonna get punished when, uh, 
he didn't do anything, but he he air dodged and he short up air dodged and then he delayed and actually and then he got the back air. Now, okay. Yup. Okay, this, nice counter. Okay, uh, this is bad. He he has to because he knew he well, it's not he knew he wasn't gonna make it back, so he's just like, oh, let's just save time. Yeah. Uh, um, that was a game breaking play he had with the short hop air dodge, uh, and then he delayed it because when he didn't commit to an option, I think if he done short hop air dodge and then attack, would have gotten the hit in the shield, and then it wouldn't have killed. 